Hey guys, it's me Chan Dragon and right now when I'm recording, it's almost the end of the year and I'm thinking like how if we end the 2022 by doing recap by making the wisest tier list though. So what is wisest tier list? This is not same with the other tier list where you just compare about their power, the meta perspective, something like that. But we will kind of want to see like in the three different aspects, which is first art, art including their voice act, the character murder, artwork, something like that. And the second is value. Value means like, how worth is it for you to try hard even you even like spend money is it worth for the investment and the third one is the of course the meta perspective or the powers or the performance though so you may see some of this character that probably you feel like it's kind of weak but how come get like higher in a tier list yeah probably because the decent is just very good so it get higher tier list that's why i say this is wisest it makes more fair judgment in here so let's get started and take notes this is can be biased also though so I take this as a reference especially kind of artwork sometime something like that it's kind of like like more into personal preference so if the taste probably different than you then might be become a bias to this so take notes of that also uh, i will rate their performance of the four star at the c6 so all of the four star become c6 and then for the five star i will rate them at the c0 and also i will not talk them very very detailed it will take over 30 minutes or even more so i'll just make them in brief those so yeah so you have just just the rough idea so let's get started first with the traveler so in terms of design i think traveler design is pretty much okay although i like blue meat more and in terms of investment i cannot really tell because they are free all of them is free but in terms of performance for the animal i think it's yeah, standard because of course this very starter one and the geo is slightly better because you can use in the mono geo and then in terms of the electro, I think it's also slightly better because you can utilize as a battery. In terms of dendro, I think it's the best one because it provides quite a good amount of dendro application and the burst is pretty much can be relied to do the reaction with the dendro though. So that's why this one get more appreciation. But we can but because we need to make the average, I think traveler good at the A tier list sweet post uh, spot. And then the next one is Amber, I think Amber in terms of design is pretty much standard, nothing really kind of so outstanding. In terms of playstyle and uh, kind of performance, nothing really so great because the pyro application is not that strong, so probably you will go in physical and then in terms of investment, you need to invest a lot, so the value is kind of not really so great if you want to go all out with Amber to spend more money or something like that. So yeah, I think the only that very outstanding in here is just the barren bunny those, but yeah, I also say Amber is standard in term of B though and the next one is that uh, Kaya Kaya I think the character that I uh, like underappreciate because in terms of the design actually pretty much unique and then in terms of the investment this one that I think the problem because you can only get from the standard banner or just use the star, star glitter or whatever it is that pretty much expensive so it's not really worth to kind of invest especially free to play but of course if you can get him as a c6 he's actually pretty good i would even give a kind of s but in terms of kind of performance the power something like that but because like investment it's not really kind of also say expensive because it's pretty much hard to get so i think i end the s bot a spot and the next one is lisa i think lisa is because of dendro she get more kind of a lot appreciation and his application in the electro pretty much okay i would to say and then the only problem is just like same with kaya it's pretty much hard to get can only get in a standard banner or the slide glitter or something like that though so in terms of investment not really so good but in terms of art don't need to ask the jp the jp uh, voice actor actually very good the the art actually like lisa though very top notch and yeah because of that i will give a same with kaya and the next one is uh, Jin. In terms of uh, Jin, is kind of like design. I feel like he's kind of good, like okay, I would say. Looks like kind of like a leader, major leader, something like that. I kind of like it. And then in terms of investment, I'll just say it's pretty much very. You can build a uh, Jin with very all round build, I would say, and work for the investment. But in terms of performance, this is give me a kind of mixed reaction though. He's kind of like, uh, she's kind of like very all round. That's not make so great in what like in one sector though. If we can say the best healer, not really. Best DPS, not really. Best support, not really. But she can just become everything because of that. I'll just give him a very good though. He's just very good in all round. Design is pretty good, but yeah, not become like the best though. The next one is Diluc. I would just say Diluc is character that 
can all uh, in terms of design, I really like it. I did. I think this is my first love in Genshin Impact. I really like the look so much. I want to get. In terms of the investment, I have to say it's kind of not really that so worth anymore because there's a lot more kind of character that will be better. So it didn't feel like kind of dropping down. But in terms of the performance, actually, he's still very good though. It's just like you may need kind of more consolation so you need to lose more 50 50 and you need to maybe get the better artifact eventually but yeah i think it's pretty much uh he's still kind of okay though in the good side though but it's just like yeah the performance a little bit going down the next one is barbara i think barbara is pretty much also get advantage from the tenro itself in terms of design i also say barbara is pretty much um looks like kind of idol that have a vibe of the kind of sister something like that so pretty much also also on point but nothing i feel so so great it's just like good in terms of the investment i think it's fair you can either build or not or or kind of value it's kind of fine like not really very valuable but not really so bad so in, everything is kind of okay and then in terms of kind of performance i think it's kind of pretty much also okay so i think it's just like when they could say everything in on her is just okay it's really let's see if even more useful so it's pretty much okay though the next one is visual i will take it so uh, visual in terms of art and like force acting everything i really like visual is he is, he is very brilliant in terms of everything like one of the brilliant character that i really like at the first time and then in terms of value i think she's very valuable and especially if you already get c6 i really recommend to build especially when dendro comes she become more valuable so in terms of performance actually she's very good one of the best electro for sub dps that you can utilize though until until right now though so i will say official is in terms very good though in terms of everything she's considered very good though the next one is the bennett <laughs> Bennett, in terms of the design, I think it's pretty much standard, but I really like his character though. He's kind of like bad luck, but always keep trying. I like his spirit, and yeah, I think he's get a lot of appreciation from me. And in terms of uh, value, he's very valuable. <laughs> so even though you messed up the C6, he's still valuable though. And then in terms of the performance, don't need to ask. He can even become main DPS. I would say Bennett is very good character until now, and no one can deny that. So best though. Razor. So Razor is kind of like character. I really really like in terms of the character, the concept or everything. I really like kind of wolf boy lonely something like that. The thing is that the value is not really so good. Consider not so great anymore because physical is pretty hard to carry in Genshin Impact though. So that's why he kind of lose a lot of things. In terms of performance, not really so great. But in terms of playstyle, actually I really like it. The kit actually is very cool. Like it has wolf in the back, so they kind of persona or kind of blue dragon even someone play. So it should like kind of like of that gimmick but sadly in terms of performance and value not really so great so because i just like the in terms of art concept i just give okay and then the next one is that clee clee i think is character that yeah quite cute a lot of people say it's very good but i do say actually it's just in good though in terms of me for design it's cute but not very very cute and then in terms of the value i would say it's kind of okay no like i think there's other pyro that even were to build but if you want to build i guess it's fine and in terms of performance i think it's pretty much standard okay it's pretty much good same like kind of deal or something like that so i will give clay is good though and the next one i'll do sucrose i think just sucrose in terms of design is pretty much quite unique but i don't know i just feel like it's still pretty much nothing really so so great in terms of design although yeah he's this looks kind of cute a little bit and in terms of value actually She's very valuable, especially as a C6, she can become like a lot that you can do with Swirl. And then the burst especially, and then of course, in terms of performance, she's doing very good though. So that's why I also say, I'll give uh because the she get carried away by the performance and fail, so I'll still put Sucrose at very good. Although design is pretty much in the good side. And the next one is Noel. I think Noel, in terms of design, I really like it. And kind of value, it is fine, you can build her cannot build her is okay in terms of performance also fine though so i think noel in terms of uh, performance c6 and whatever i think noel is good at the good side kind of fine though and the next one is chongyun i i have to say actually uh chong is one of the characters that underappreciate although i think the design is not really so good just like okay but in terms of uh, value and the performance actually not bad though i would say they are in the pretty much in the good side though and pretty much it's worth quite worth to build if you kind of like freeze uh in the cry or something like that and performance actually pretty good though because of that 
Uh, I will just give like in the A tier because I think he's perfectly fine in everything though and pretty much underappreciated. People say like probably standard or okay but I think he's more than that though. And the next one is Mona. I think Mona in terms of design is very top notch. Uh, people really like also Mona and in terms of the value I think it's worth for you to build especially you like freeze team something like that. So it's very good in freeze though and especially in terms of performance the burst is considered very good and the application of the hydro pretty good so I would say Mona is uh, uh, S tier. And then now is Kaching. Kaching is people I know people really like Kaching but honestly I would say Kaching design is pretty much good though not really kind of very very kind of like top notch or whatever but in terms of a uh, value for you to build it's actually fine you can build or not but right now in aggravate is even have more work so the performance become even better though so i'll t i would to say uh catching right now considered already good side though and the next one is Chichi, the character that people really hate when you lose 50 In terms of art, like voice, uh, model, something, design, something like that, pretty much okay, I would to say. Uh, pretty unique, especially the Coco Good meme, meme and something like that. But in terms of value to build, I think it's fine. Nothing really kind of you have to build or not. Like, But in terms of performance, okay. It just like work as a, as a healer. So pretty much I think just like... I would say okay though, nothing really outstanding, especially as a dendro, Chichi thing nothing can do much though, because Barbara can even do much because of dendro, but because Cry don't have any reaction, I think pretty much it's just like okay in terms of me though, although she helped me in, when I just started the Genshin, but she helped me as a starter, so still thanks to Chichi. And the next one is Ningguang. I would say Ningguang is another character that underappreciated. In terms of design, I really like honestly because I really like boss lady type something like that. Uh, in terms of the value for you to build, I think it's fine. You can build or not, it's up to you. And then in terms of performance, the six, C6, I would just say Ningguang is pretty strong though. Especially if you're doing Mono Geo, if you build correctly, it's pretty good. So that's why I would say Ningguang is A. And the next one is Xiangli. Okay, Xiangli is the character that I actually really really like it. She and Fischl is one of the characters when I first time playing I really like it because I think she's just very adorable also. So uh, voice whatever it is I really like. In terms of value, she's very valuable. If, especially if you want to clear fair spiral beast, I really recommend to build Xiangli. In terms of performance, you don't need even to ask how to say. <laughs> she's just very strong pyro character though. And I think this is a very good choice if you're free to play. I think it's a ma one of the must build though. So I have no comment with her. I would to say she is S tier though. S S S tier even though. So best one though. And the next one is Sincho. Sincho also another character that I think no doubt. In terms of design, whatever, I think it's pretty much standard. Nothing only on a good side. But in terms of value, she's very valuable to build. In terms of performance statistics, it's actually very good though. In terms of the character something like that i think he's he's kind he's kind of like my type like kind of knowledgeable person something like and kind of wise so i kind of like also so i'll give jincho sss because yeah pretty much very good in investment and in uh, performance and the character is pretty much kind of my like them and then the next one is fenty fenty of course the our animal icon in terms of character actually Honestly, I don't really like him at the first, but when I play more and more, I kind of like Fenty. The design, I don't really kind of like the design type of part. Performance, voice, I actually quite like it. In terms of the value, I think she's considered very good to build because the best crowd controller, no one can deny that. But in terms of maybe performance, like right, like lately, if the character, if the enemy that cannot be crowd controls, she's pretty, uh, he's pretty much kind of like not really that useful but if it can crowd control become very good especially in the best so with that say i'll give fenty in the in the still in a very good side though only lose a little bit performance because some of the enemy i mean cannot be crowd controlled though the next one is beto beto is one of the characters i think in terms of the design i really like the voice it looks kind of very strong woman and i very like it though in terms of value it's either you can build or not it's up to you kind of fine it's pretty much in the good side and then in terms of performance actually She's very good if you kind of like build though properly. Just like I think the it's just a little bit loose and value because you cannot pair with right. And if she can pair with right, I think I would put here. But because if not, then I think just this she's pretty fine. Bedu is pretty fine in good side. And the next one is where's child? <laughs> Child. Child is the character that I think is actually considered also very good in terms of design. 
I really like I really like child and in terms of the value I think she, uh, he's very good though if you want to build kind of like international he's cracked like crazy though in terms of performance he's actually f still very good until right now although it's already 3.3 uh, he's still very good but that's it I say he's considered in, in the very good side though uh, other than that Zhongli Zhongli's character that you are gone basically the character that I really really like the character that I only want to get because of design I when that time Zhongli released people say he's very bad but I don't care because I just really like him but man after that he get buff right so after that the performance of him become like so much better become crazy and become very valuable to to get and consider worth to invest for your grind on whatever it is though the voice is top notch especially the english voice like this one is character is best though i think oh i just really like Zhongli one of the best male character in Genshin Impact for me no deny though and the next one is Xinyan Xinyan is the character that in terms of design i would say he's very unique but not into my style though i don't know why though but in terms of performance i think it's just fine especially as physics i think it's getting better but in terms of value it's kind of you can either like build or not this thing is fine so i think Xinyan is okay and the next one is albedo albedo is in terms of the design i think it's just like okay but the voice is truly very good and uh, the type of the character characteristic i really like but in terms of uh value for you it's kind of like to say okay or not you can either like go or not but in terms of performance he's actually very good he's very good battery especially in the mono geo and or even the hooter gym he's actually very good though just like in terms of investment of the value he's kind of like replaceable kind of if you build him okay if you don't build him you will totally fine also because of that i will give you in the if give him in the good side though and the next one is ganyu ganyu of course in terms of design don't need to ask anymore the voice the fan art a lot you can see like the characters is very good design the artwork whatever i really like and in terms of the value she's actually quite worth for you to build especially she can become multi role sub dps main dps good like very strong in non normal uh, charge attack the in terms of performance no need to ask people say like in terms of performance she's become like kind of lose the value because the dendro comes so cryo didn't do anything with dendro but who say just pair with tahida and shangling and you can see like when you do the trigger the burning it's make it easier for ganyu to trigger melt over time though so that's why she become very good even though so in terms of performance she's still very good no need even to drop design everything is very good i would say ganyu is still best for me in term of the tier though the next one is Xiao. Xiao in terms of design, I think is just fine. It's just good, and I know he has a lot of cultural reference in terms of design. That's why I kind of respect. In terms of value, I have to say it, it can be like valuable or not though, because it's very depends from what you invest in your other on him though. Let's say you have C6 Farouzad or you have like Primordial Jet Wing, and then he his value become in the very good, but again it needs a lot of investment. Depends on your investment. So because of that, I would say the performance is actually quite hit or miss also it can be become very good or not just because of that i will say i will just give in the safe spot in the good side though it's kind of like it can be good if you have a proper investment but consider also quite expensive but yeah it's kind of like maybe in the middle of a or s but i still just put a for just like safe spot and the next one is huta huta in terms of art section like the voice model characteristic I really like her because she's very distinct type of the character I would say. In terms of value, especially if you're looking for main DPS, she's very valuable to build and the scaling of her is very easy because of the HP. Usually the character the scaling of HP is actually very valuable though. And then in terms of performance, don't need even to us. Like because she is pyro, she can trigger vaporize. The damage that she deals is actually crack up very very strong so there's no doubt though everything on her is actually very good the only downside about her that i don't really like is that the place that the place of huta is pretty much very boring you only need to charge attack and do the same thing that you can even do jump cancel if you kind of want efficient something like that. so it's kind of like it's not really my thing i feel like huta gameplay is pretty much boring only like around a or b tier but because everything that's f is very good in huta i would still give huta at the best side though and the next one is Yula. And the next one is Yula. Yula, in terms of the character, art, 
voice something like that, I will give like in the S tier something like that because I really like Eula. And then in terms of value, it's kind of hit or miss also. It depends what you have, what you invest. If you already invest a lot, it's kind of maybe Raiden weapon something like that on signature weapon. Then yeah, she become valuable in terms of performance, especially as the C zero. And being physical, it's kind of get advantage and disadvantage because some of the enemy especially in spiral abyss if you want to clear some of them kind of like kind of like have resistance to physical so it can be like beneficial or disadvantage for you though because of that i'll give you at around like a tier because yeah i i really kind of want to put s but yeah there's two aspects that kind of make you like disadvantage though but yeah probably around a plus something like that though and the next one is Rosaria. Rosaria also character that I think uh, pretty much I really like the design uh, and whatever that she has like cold blood something like that it's pretty much very unique also I really like. In terms of value I think it's kind of okay for you to build or not especially if you kind of want to in the like freeze or kind of physical team like that then yeah I think it's kind of pretty much worth to build though. And the performance actually she's doing not bad as well as she's actually doing quite good so I would say Rosaria is on a good side though. The next one is Yanfei. I think Yanfei in terms of character, I think is pretty much good. Very unique also because kind of have work in the law firm, something like that. And then also in terms of uh, value, it's all it's kind of okay. You can build or not. It's just totally fine. Like the investment is pretty much also fair. Depends what you have. Also in terms of performance as a six, she's pretty much not bad. I would say she kind of like light glee. The the budget version of glee though. So pretty much I think on her also good though. And the next one is Kazuo. Kazuo in terms of character, art or whatever it is, I really like because he's kind of like calm type character, kind of looks kind of wise and samurai, like anime character like type, type samurai so I really like him and I would to say in terms of value, don't even to ask, like he's very easy to build on his tech and EM, iron sting, so the value to build on him is actually very easy so the value is actually very high, it can even buff your character elements so it's become very good though Be the performance don't even need to ask though his performance probably in spiral is very good like pretty much you can pair with almost every single character as a physical even with dendro you still can pair though to utilize let's say like kind of aggravate to buff more than electro something like that. so yeah kazu is still very valuable and i would just say kazu is one of the characters that i pull because of aesthetic i feel like kazuha skill and burst is is the most beautiful and the skill until right now though probably already lose a little bit because of Nahida but still one of the most beautiful the next one is Ayaka we are on 2 point series so for the first time I see Ayaka model and something like that I'm not really into Ayaka design honestly I'm not don't really like it but when I play the story I appreciate her more so I like her character though not in the model but the character I really like her right now but in terms of the performance I would to say uh, she is one of the best uh, main dps on par with 2000 but instead she is cryo though and for the kid i just want to give compliment that i think ayaka is the most complete kid that i think hoyo first did because most of the character that they did like there's something that we didn't utilize let's say ganyu you only utilize charge attack we didn't utilize normal attack Huta only utilize normal attack so kazo only skill and burst something like that but ayaka we use like from the sprint to get the application Normal attack, charge attack, skill burst, everything from her we use though, so there's nothing to waste. So because of that also in terms of value, she is kind of very worth though. It's also like value in terms of the kit, value in terms of power, value in terms of the investment, everything. So I would to say Ayaka is, in terms of DPS, she is the best. The next one is Yoimiya. Yoimiya in terms of art, I really like her, the character, the design, the model, artwork. Everything from her, I really like the concept uh, is Yoimiya. That's the reason I pull it. It's not because the power or everything. That's why I pull Yoimiya. I really like the character of Yoimiya itself. And after the interval performance, at the first she come, people don't really like her because uh, she suffered in the AOE, you know, as strong as Futao and a lot of problems. By the time she's become better, but I think I also because maybe Spiral is more into boss type, so there's more to single tiger enemy, so she's kind of not really that suffer anymore. and. Uh, she has a lot more more support kind of Yunjin we can do double hydro with uh, Shincho and Yelan and there's more more option with her for you to build though so because of that I think Yoimiya has become a better in terms of the performance time to time 
and in terms for value for me it depends also if you have kind of the signature more probable or the ras r5 or you have a very good artifact then that then yeah it can be available for you to uh build build her though but uh, if you kind of have the free to play weapon something like that it might be kind of not really worth to build so yeah she's kind of same case with uh, Xiao, Yula something like that that maybe need investment a little bit from the luck or kind of spending money something like that so it's kind of hit or miss again though because of that I would just say I will give you Yoimiya still in the good side Hey yo, so as I in terms of design, art, concepts, and all, I require like also because it's kind of like typical like sleepy, always kind of fall asleep, very lazy, slack or something like that. So it's quite distinct than other characters. That because of that, I kind of appreciate. In terms of performance, I would say she is fine, very everything balanced. Can do swirl, can heal, uh, especially at Sisik, I think she has become better. So pretty much she is kind of okay. In terms of uh, value, yeah, you can build her if you don't want to build is also fine so basically she is kind of very neutral so i'll just say she is in the middle also and the next one is electro archon raiden shogun now, raiden shogun in terms of uh, art concepts hunting line is actually very brilliant and top notch the mature model actually i really like move it into my taste and also the concept like the boba sword it's really unexpected like i feel it's very brilliant in terms of the kind of voice i really like the jp but all the voice i really like and also the character is kind of very interesting when it riding shogun is kind of strict when become like have the a side it become more gentle so it's kind of very like she's very kind of have a lot of character in it so i think she's very top notch in terms of art and also in terms of performance i already told in every guide she's very flexible literally from physical until the new dendro team something like she can fit though so basically she's very good as a support for sure at the z0 especially then yeah for the main dps at z0 actually not so so top notch but still kind of strong though because at least you can do like around 100 damage 100k damage with the catch r5 so that's still very solid and then um in terms of value i think it's very valuable for you to insert invest in raiden because once you build her it's very easy only a stack in energy charge with emblems everything and once you have that like basically she can just become sub dps your main dps and like can just put most in everything so it's very valuable so she's still sss for me the next one is kujo sara kujo sara in terms of art concept Actually, I really like it because she's kind of mature woman, very strict, very sharp uh, type of person, but kind of simping to ride issue. So, have kind of the strict and the soft side that I think is very interesting. Lord. So, I really like uh, Kujo Sara. Uh, and in terms of the performance, I would say, in terms of just to buffing, especially in the niche of an electro, she's very good, especially as like C6. Basically, if you kind of like, yes, yeah, C6. Kujo Sara, it increase especially if you want to make support for Radio Shogun, it's a lot though. So she is in at the C6 actually very good in terms of performance. And then in terms of value, yeah, if you kinda meaning electro and especially with Radio Shogun, then yeah, she will be valuable, very valuable to uh, build. But if you don't meaning kinda electro, so it's not really 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 kinda you have to build her though. So it's kinda hit or miss again, but uh, without said, in the end, I think she's kind of still a very good support on her niche though. The next one is Sangonomiya Kokomi. Uh, Kokomi in terms of art, I really like. I think she's very aesthetic. The hair especially, I don't know, it, it kind of have two different gradient color, like kind of blown, but have the bluish type uh, purple thing. So I think it's very uh, beautiful. And overall from her, it looks very elegant. I really like her. That's why I the reason I pulled, just because of the art concept uh, beautiful something like that in terms of uh, performance at the start i would say kokomi not really so good because yeah it's just like mostly can do as a healer and uh, a player of the hydro although i think the jelly is already very useful at the first but not so 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 kind of like very important to pull but time to time when dendro come and when people like also kind of figure out a lot a lot and more in the team comp she's becoming more and more valuable and Basically right now she's become very flexible like she can become help in the like bloom So it's not just become healer or just become healer. So she's become versatile right now So the value of her has become increased and uh, tremendously like a lot So because of that I would say Kokomi Reno is in the SS side I think before Dendro she already even very good but because of Dendro comes she's become very very good right now The next one is Toma Toma in terms of the art uh, kind of especially kind of model style something like that. I'm not really into it but the characteristic of Toma I really like it uh, he's very uh, kind of protagonist type like 
very a lot have a lot of spirit helpful to each other like kind of very good type of person i really like toma and then after that in terms of performance when he came first not really so great because most of us can only use in the hotel team like subject of Zhongli but I did not nothing much that he can do so in terms of value that time it's not really kind of worth to build so the value is kind of low because it's just too niche and not give so much impact but when he come into like 3.0 when the endro come he become become more reliable especially if you want to use in the bargain it's kind of okay to build like it's fine for to right now especially if you wakanda in the bargain team then he can be used right now so the value of him become increased the performance become better so he's no good sign right now aratakito aratakito in terms of design character voice something like that is actually top notch he's very entertaining very funny whenever he comes to the story or event it always make me laugh so much that's why in terms of that i really really like him in terms of performance considering he's monochio and he didn't do any reaction and my goro it's not even c6 and, and not signature weapon he's dealing 100k in oc i think it's already did a very good job though uh, but in terms of value it kind of hit or miss because again he didn't do any reaction so same case with yula and xiao so it can be expensive so if you want like to become very very strong you need maybe signature weapon or consolation something like that though although he's get the benefit that yula and xiao didn't get which is it's easier to build him because you only need defense because of that he's kind of get more and more value in that and i think ito is good in the very good side though considering as a monogio also and the next one is goro so goro is the character that i think is quite interesting very distinct i like the kind of the gimmick with miss hina and the uh, argument with ayaya miko that he always lose and i really enjoy that part though and in terms of performance he's basically just kujo sara but geo so i cannot really comment he's doing very good job in uh, buffing geo very very a lot if you can make it in the c6 so basically he do a very good job as a support of geo in terms of value yes if you are many geo he's become variable uh, if you didn't build in the geo team then he's not valuable though but because of that he's still very good in terms of his niche which is in geo so that's why he's still in the very good side though on his niche the next one is shanta shanta in terms of characteristic the art side the art style voice something like that's actually i really like it because she's very beautiful very aesthetic in terms of characteristic also she's kind of like very calm but yet have the killer instinct which is i really like also and in terms of performance I would say she's very good in buffing cryo especially ayaka so she's very good on her niche and considering also she's the only five star that do the buffer job because other character uh, buffer is four star like goro sara something like that faruzan they are all four star but she's the only one at five star but still very good job at c0 though and in terms of the value if you're maining cryo especially ayaka then yeah she's very valuable though but if you're not maining cryo then yeah not so valuable but i would say she's still very good on her niche especially in cryo and now it's yunjin yunjin in terms of the art like character model something like that is actually very distinct very very unique because she's even have two different voice actor the one that have sings chinese opera the one that the yeah, normal voice though she's very very like cultural reference character that i think is is very distinct and unique so i kind of appreciate in that and in terms of performance she's doing a very good job on kind of do a shielder stuff and kind of do a buffer for the normal attack type of character like yoimi ayato something so I, she's doing very good job also but again it's quite it's quite niche also in terms of value to build not so much character that utilize in normal attack so i think if you want to build her in terms of value also fine if you don't want to build her also fine though because he still can even uh build like you didn't utilize in normal attack she can be useful in mono or something like that. so it's kind of like fine to build her but not build her also fine though so i also say yunjin in the good side okay now yaimiko yaimiko is one of my favorite character from the art character design force whatever is like basically top notch i really like she's become a very very peaceful person i really like her and then in terms of the performance she's doing very good job like time to time become better and better especially when dendro come like basically the turret is very reliable right now the sub dps the passive like like all field damage is actually very good right now it's become better and better basically the second visual but yeah have their own uniqueness also and yeah in terms of value right now it's very valuable especially if you kind of really really like to build with dendro she's become more useful in any dendro team so she's 
become very good right now to say so for ayato for the art side actually it's not really into my taste because the character the model something like that it's not really into my taste Be i think it is because i expect ayato to be a different looking or kind of have a different character i thought he will be kind of zhongli that more kind of calm and something like that. but it turned out he's pretty goofy though so yeah i don't know it's kind of a little bit let down for me but in terms of performance i think he's doing a very good job especially usually hyder doing a very good job he can even become as a main dps and become a little bit sub dps thanks to the burst itself and in terms of gameplay he's actually very smooth i think he's one of the character that very convenient to play though and to of value i think he's character that if you need main dps he's worth to build itself though because he's dealing a very good amount of uh, dps and he's hyder though so he can like fill with a lot of like maybe freeze, uh, evaporate something like so it's actually become quite valuable though because of that I would still say he's in the very good side thanks to like because he's hydro and he's get a lot of advantage from the value so yeah I think he's still in the very good side though. The next one is Kuki Shinobu. Kuki Shinobu in terms of art like the design model character for something like this basically I really like. The only character that use a uh, mask also very unique looks kinda ninja. I really like her also like, aesthetically. Looks almost like kinda five star design. And then in terms of performance, basically when she came, she's not really doing that good job because basically she only kinda heal and do a kinda application and the heal kinda like not really so great and people feel like uh, no, it's not kind of like yeah you can build her but if you already have something better what's the point to build her but when the andro come everything changed i think she's performed very good because you can just take uh em on her and she can do a decent amount of hyper bloom so she become very good right now and then also like in terms of value right now i think if you kind of maining the andro especially she's worth to build though because that time when i built like for the andro team i built direct uh cookie shinebu and i feel like yeah she's become become very more reliable and so and right now she is in a very good side though and the next one is yelan yelan also one of my favorite characters so yeah in terms of art don't need to ask though whenever they reveal oh wow, my god i feel like she's really my type kind of like mature type character the, the, the character is a kind of spy that's kind of stealthy like that oh it's really into my taste so yeah in terms of art don't need to ask them in terms of the performance she's doing very good job basically second scene show so her turret like is basically very 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 good it's basically just scene show so when you pair with scene show and yelan it's basically just crazy it's just like unlimited like rain water short or whatever it is so it's really correct and also her scaling is very easy hp because of that my yelan hit harder than scene show because it's easier to get like hp scaling so yeah it's it's very convenient on her build in terms of value i think she's very valuable though no matter like you kind of didn't Meaning like pyro you just want to do like what dendro or whatever like uh cryo she's still worth to build though especially considering become a second scene is basically still a very very good value for me so because of that she is best though the next one is hazo hazo in terms of art like character uh design model something like that i think it's just fine but the only thing that i like her is that his detective <laughs> i like that kind of concept of detective in terms of performance i think he's very unique the only first character that he was kind of like punch something else, so it's very unique. The, cur the damage that he dealt actually pretty good to him, considering his 4 star, especially at C6, was already quite acceptable amount though. And then, yeah, in terms of value, again, it's same like Xiao basically, if because he didn't do reaction and the swirl is not really that thing, although you can use that, but basically he's more into main DPS side, so you really depends on what you invest though if you kind of have a good investment then he's become valuable if not then not though because of that he's still in the good side for me the next one is tinari tinari is the character that in terms of the art like the characteristic design something like that, it's pretty much okay for me just like good side but in terms of performance i think he's doing a very good job he's covered a lot of stuff he can become like main dps can become like sub dps although still more into main dps good in the quick swap and basically his place is very straightforward like very convenient same like ganyu something but faster and then in terms of that i would say in terms of value considering because he's also like in a standard banner if you lose 
50-50. I think he's one of the character that worth for you to build if you lose 50-50. Alongside Mona. I think Mona and Tainari is worth to build in the standard right now though. Because he cover a lot of stuff though. He can become sub DPS temporary or main DPS. Like I already tell everything. He's he's covered a lot of multiple job, confident gameplay, like pretty much very easy going on on him though. So I would say Tinari is in the very good side. Now this is Kole. Kole in terms of the art, the character design voice something like I really like her. Honestly, when she I saw in the manga, I'm not really into it because She's very different, but now when she come into 3.0, she's transformed a lot, a lot, and I really like her. I know, so adorable. And in terms of performance, I think she's doing kind of very similar job with uh, Dendro Traveler, especially already in C6. So I think she's kind of on par on with Dendro Traveler though. So in terms of value, I think considering not so much sub DPS of uh, or off field. Uh, DPS of the Dendro. I think she's still kind of okay to build. So basically, in the good side, though, you can build or you cannot build. Though the next one is Dory. Dory, in terms of the characteristic, people maybe really hate because kind of like capitalist, like money and something like that. But I would say that's make her interesting, though. That's why I think it's a little bit things that I appreciate to make the game more colorful. The, <laughs> the character that only likes money that even want to buy Nahida. Uh, Surastana, I believe that's very crazy. And in terms of performance, I would say it's kind of like fine. I would say you can build her, you cannot build her, it's also fine. She provides kind of good in terms of kind of energy, something like that, and application of a little bit electro or something like that. But pretty much, kind of you can build, you cannot build her. Performance is fine, so I would say she's uh, C6 door is pretty much okay. The next one is Sino. Sino, in terms of character design. Or art something like that is basically into my style because he's kind of edgy have the Anubis inspiration like loners uh, and have the very brilliant um, characteristic that to make it more colorful which is really like dead jokes or bad jokes and TCG nerds then that's why I think it's more interesting than Sino in terms of performance I would say his gameplay is basically very fun I really really enjoy it. better better than Hu Tao do. I think among all the main DPS that I've tried, I really enjoy Sino is the best one in terms of the gameplay. That's why I still use, although I'll just say uh, in terms of the power level, it's just passable or descent. Nothing really so game breaking, just like on part on the look. But if you're curious what is the best for uh, Sino, it's a hyper loop, not aggravate. Will be best to put with Nahido, but the Android Traveler is also acceptable too. And because of that, outside the value is kind of hit or miss. If you happen like have those character like Nahida build or kind of uh, Sincho build or Galan or Endo Traveler and have stick nature weapon, then yeah, or maybe that match R5, then yeah, he, uh, he become valuable though. But he, if not, then he's pretty much not kind of like have hard time and it's not so much uh, worth to build. So the value is kind of decreasing though. Because of that, I think Sino is on a good side though. For Ken, it's basically uh, whatever related with art, like design, concept, character is basically top notch. Consider it's, it's kind of like 5 star design, I have to say. So basically all this tier like Ken is carried heavily by the design though. In terms of the performance, I would to say, it's basically it's not bad. It's just like the competition in Hydro is just so tight like Sincho and Yelan is more flexible because uh, Ken is kind of like have shield and but have the mechanic where they uh, have a high replication but only limited with certain weapon right so it's kind of like kind of overshadow but not a character though so yeah i think if you don't have kind of yellow and shincho something like that then you can still utilize uh candies but if you already have them if you have lesser reason to use candies though so it's, it's just like kind of internal value yeah you can build but in the end like if you have them that should not build though it's kind of waste of resource it's kind of like then fine so in the end Kenneth is just like good side though when pretty much scary carry because the design the next one is Nilu Nilu when first time she came like in terms of art design character like that it's not really into my test it's like around good side but when I finished the Archon quest I found she's adorable though so I kind of like her right now so a little bit regret to not pull her though in terms of performance I think 
she did a very good job on her knit which is in the bloom side and bloom bloom is actually very good also in aoe or the group type of enemy so if that the case nilo do did a very good job though and considering she has the special unique bloom that only her that can do that this basically can make the bloom damage even higher though because of that she's actually i would also say very strong though very strong on the bloom side only though especially we have even nahida she will become more cracked though because of that i would say nilo in the very good side on her niche which is bloom the next one is uh, lesser lord kusanali or the Andrew archon nahida so i would say in terms of art design characteristics something like that is pretty much adorable of her the normal attack uh animation is very cute quite sad see that first time it's kind of lonely but when you finish like archon quest you kind of like even like her more like she's very interesting character and in terms of performance i want to say she is very good at c0 basically the best dendro applier so if you're kind of in the dendro team not even dendro team very versatile even the ganyu melt she can do that because thanks to three karma purification three karma purification is very nonsense skill i want to say because the damage over time is very crazy I never expect that three karma will be that strong. I already know that Nahida will be strong, but it's stronger than I thought though even. So because of that, I would say she's very valuable at the C0. One of the characters that I would say must pull, very valuable. Even I would say at C0, she's better than Raiden though. Because Raiden I would say become very good at C2, like the big, but Nahida at C0 already big I would say though. So because of that, she's best. The next one is Laila Laila in terms of the art characteristic design something like that is actually uh, quite interesting the type of sleepy overwork something like that and if you kind of realize that she has two different personality or character the one that the real Laila when she always sleepy and overwork and the second one is that when she uh, sleepwalking and uh, there's a new Laila that take over she's more cheerful and basically it's very interesting I really like that part and after that the in terms of performance, I think she's uh, the strongest shielder for the 4 style right now. And if it's reached C6, of course, uh, it's, she can uh, buff the kind of charge attack for Ganyu something like that. So it's basically become more even useful. So that's actually good though. But if you kind of compare to Diona, I think Diona has more value because Diona can do shield and can do heal though. I think that's more uh, versatile and more kind of like reliable compared to just shield so because you if you can do two things that even better and Iona can also buff from the normal attack something like that so also same with uh, Lila like that though but Lila cannot heal so in terms of fellow she's a little bit fall a little, fall a little bit so because of that I would to say Lila in the good side the next one is Wonder Wonder in terms of the art design something like that it's basically not into really my taste uh, I don't really like uh, Skyramuch design or Wanderer design honestly and in terms of characteristic I found that he is a very brilliant character because Hoyo Force make it that I feel I really hate this character so much that's the reason I didn't pull because he's so evil and I still cannot forgive him though <laughs> I just I just biased and in terms of performance I think he's just same case with Sino pretty much uh, passable or decent and I think he's a little bit get advantage because he he can like explore like i think the best in terms of exploration better than uh kazua right now so i think he has more value in exploration in that and in terms of just like the match yeah same run around sino in terms of like kind of value it's also similar with the yula shao itoke something like that if you have like the character that support you like let's say you have c6 farusan you have the web signature weapon then yeah it will be valuable though but if you don't have then that pretty pretty much you have to catch up them and pretty much will be turn out to be expensive not and not worth to build though so i would say because of that uh wonder is still in the good side and the last one is farusan or hatsune miku uh, basically farusan in terms of art design is very interesting and considering she's already over 100 years old very interesting character i really like her though i really want to pull for her but i don't want to uh get uh wonder so i kind of hopefully will get in the future but in terms of performance she is doing very good job at the c6 but of course at the c0 is not going so good but because i'm reviewing at c6 she's actually very good though i i try it basically she can do like a mini crowd controller buffer uh as a uh in the animal so basically they are kind of 
Sara or Goro, but I think a little bit better because it's more versatile. It has the crowd control style, something like that, and it it quite hit quite a lot of damage I tried in the trial. So she's basically very good at the C6. And then in terms of value, if you kind of meaning uh kind of animal like kind of show something like Wanderer, then yeah, she's very valuable on her niche though. And yeah, if you kind of mean an animal, she'll become valuable. But if not, then she's just like okay though. So I would just say Farazan in very good side. Okay, I know we still have one more uh, Aloy, but Aloy is pretty much standard for me because the model is looks too young from the original one. The voice even so different. The performance because don't have consolation, pretty much kind of hard to, to bring. Yeah, you can if you invest a lot, but yeah, other than that, pretty much the standard I would say. So yeah, that's pretty much that's it of my YCS tier list in 2022 until 3.3 update. So you see most of them is kinda in a good side. So basically you can carry most of this character though in Genshin Impact, even in Spiral Abyss because Genshin Impact is just casual. So most of them can carry. So only a couple of them that may be a little bit hard and that's not even like kinda skyrocket. You can even do that, but it's just like maybe a little bit effort or kinda skill for you to do that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you like feel free to hit the subscribe button and like and I will see you in the next year. Bye bye.